What's up? I'm Corey, 6'5", 230. Now this amazing body. But I mean, you can't just get this body doing nothing. I go to the gym at least three hours a day. And I play. I also play basketball at UConn. I'm starting for it. Obviously the best one on the team. And, well, we, I, led my, I led my team to the victory at the national championship. As far as girls go, they're falling all over me. Like, I, they can't get enough of me. It's hard balancing all of them, but I've tried doing the girlfriend thing, but it just doesn't work. I mean, they never have enough time for me. So what I do is I just call one up, she can't hang out, her loss. I'm just gonna call the next one. And as far as guys go, I mean, I basically beat them on everything. So they tend to be a little jealous of me. But I mean, how could you not just look at me? Hi. I'm Monique, and I'm a sophomore in college, um, so guess what? My boyfriend totally broke up with me today, and it was so stupid why. He says that I'm always trying to get attention from other guys. I mean, I can't help if I want to show off what I got, and he shouldn't be so jealous all the time, but whatever. So I wrote him this note saying that I was going to kill myself because, well, I want him to be guilty, but I'm obviously not going to kill myself because I love myself, but still. So he'll be back and want me in like two days. Um, oh yeah, and my roommate who I live with, well, she's totally obsessed with me. That's what I think the problem is, but she's going to move out. And it's not my problem that she wants to move out. She just thinks that all her boyfriends like me too much because I don't... I always wear robes and stuff when they come over, and maybe I'm just wandering around in my panties, but that's not my problem. It's where I live, and if she can't keep her man satisfied, I'm sorry. So if she's going to move out, whatever. But then she was like, I need counseling or whatever. I do not need counseling, but if I ever went to counseling, it would be awesome because I could talk about myself all the time, and I really like to talk about myself. So, peace. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm 48. Hard to believe, I know. Well, so I'm a little pissed because I just got fired today after three days. Apparently I have an attitude problem or something. And I guess I'm a little too social and I interfere with the productive work day. Not my problem that everybody just wants my company. <laughs> That's what I get for working for a woman. So much drama. Ugh, it's not my fault that they feel threatened because of how I look. <laughs> and oh, let's talk about threatening and insecurity. Husband number five, goodbye. Ugh, apparently I flirt way too much. I'm sorry, I'm not a prude, okay? So if somebody wants to talk to me, tell me how beautiful I am and wants to buy me things, who am I to say no? I mean, who would turn that down? I wouldn't, whatever. I'm on to bigger and better things. I met Prince Charming today. We're going out tonight. Pretty sure he's gonna tell me he loves me. They always do. Being in love is so great. Hey, my name's Ashley. I'm 16 and I'm in high school. I know, it doesn't really look like it. I'm just really good at knowing what enhances what I've been given. Um, I'm a pretty popular person. I mean, I have so many friends, I can't even keep up with them all. I mean, I met this girl this morning in second period, and I just know that we're going to be BFFs. Because my best friend, well, I guess she would be my ex-best friend now, is totally out to get me. Apparently, she thinks her boyfriend cheating on her with the school slut is really embarrassing. But I heard the rumor in gym class, so obviously it's true. I don't know why she's so mad at me. She's probably just jealous because my boyfriend of three weeks is totally in love with me. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? 